Okay, so I tried out the embellished set and from the flower loom I got that kind of daisy-esque but with pink middle <laughs> I had a bit of fun trying to do it, it was awkward but <laughs> and from the spool knitter five side was this the thinner one yeah, it's actually supposed to be tubular but I sewed the two ends together <laughs> or sewed them so they're closed and then from the eight side got obviously a bigger one so pretty good I like them so they're definitely something to use again in the future Taking away from that in for a moment I've been doing cross stitch the past couple of days yes there's been daily break between <laughs> the intro and this bit and I'm getting close to finishing page 3 so we have that I want to finish off the haunted Pokemon tower in Lavender Town and once I've done that I'll be moving down here go across so yeah, just again, see if it get the angle right. Moving that way, moving that. Way. There we go. Hopefully, so I'm gonna work it out. There you go. Sorry if it's all over the show. <sighs> and the other day, I also ordered from. Clover, the company that made these two knitters that you might remember. <laughs> the flower loom set. So, I've not opened it yet. I'll probably not put it back in its box with the plastic thingy. I'll probably put the instructions and the set in the bag that the two other that were staying because that's that annoying plastic stuff that if you're not careful will just dig into your fingers I know from experience <laughs> from trying to sort the knitters so yeah that's something else to try out there's hexagon loom small and large size square looms small medium and large size round looms a center peg a base, a cover, and a tapestry needle, which is the blue needle. So that's something um, worth a look at. So we we'll try and get this open without injuring myself. I think they close them that way just so you, you know, can't tamper with them. I'll get them out in a minute. I'm assuming the instructions are down here. Oh, dang it. Quite a bit of contents. Create flowers. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera, by the way. <laughs> With your favourite material, yarn, knit or crochet. Ribbons, fabric, raffia, twine, jute, whatever the heck that is. <laughs> Threads. Again, it lists the things that's in it. And you've got completed size and necessary material lengths. Look uh, past all the other European stuff. Fit the blue parts into the base with the pegs facing down, as shown in the picture. Oh, this is for the storage. Okay. And obviously, the pink's facing up. Some example design ideas. They're showing necklaces, a cushion, and I think that's a set of earrings or pins. And there's the sizes for different things. Here's the instructions. So, and some examples. Hmm. 
packaging that can slice your fingers. <laughs> and here is the set. From Clever. I think you just must be push bits or something on this. Ah, that's what you do. So there's the lid with the old clover on the top. Needle. One of those bendy ends. Oh, it's on my multi pack of different types of needles. I got one of those. And we have one. And three of the pink. Try to get these out. Oh, that's gonna be all pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Point the side up <laughs> flying in my face. Alright, so we've got for the blue ones one, two, and three. There's also the central. Oops, sorry. <laughs> the central sort of stopper piece. I think you use that for doing particular styles of the. And a bit of the flower, and turn it the right way around. As denoted by the logo on the bottom, <laughs> we have the base. You just set the different. If I do this way up, apparently, now it seems to be positions for the different pins. I think? Question mark. Looks like it, isn't it? Apparently that's supposed to go in somehow. Oh, I think that's it. There you go. That's with the large one. So. And that's how you get to work on it. It has these four little anchor slots. And not just to go with them. For a minute, so you can keep you know your starting bull out the way. And now I've got to try and work it up <laughs> the way again. That goes in the middle. Doesn't matter where. No, no, okay. And this one goes here. So I've got to remember they all, oops, all go upside down. This one goes here. I have a feeling that these might also be useful for general loom knitting. I don't know. I'd have to try them out. Because <laughs> then they're kind of small. They'd probably be great for small projects. Uh, did I do this right? <laughs> Because it looks like they should. S oh, a minute. If the things here to go by. I think. Yeah, they do. They slot into the underside of it. That's good. The medium one. And that's actually there between other bits. So that goes there. And the big one, I'm guessing, just goes in the gap. Put the needle back there again. Put in where I put the lid.
Put that on, but the needle fell out. Oops. Eh. <laughs> this is not easy to put back. But the needle doesn't want to stay. Gonna maybe put through some of these. It doesn't fit. I think I have to put it there. No, no. There we go. That's it closed up again. <laughs> Don't know if I put it. Yeah, I've got the right way around. Both logos are at the bottom. <laughs> so, that way they face the right way. That's cool. It's an interesting site to try out. So, yeah, that's really all I wanted to show. So, I know it's not much, <laughs> but that's it for now. I'll probably try that stuff out, might record myself doing so, might not and just show the finished project, I don't know. <laughs>